Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back-ish to Shattered Planet, or welcome back, anyway. So, apparently my save file is, uh, saved, uh, in the same spot as the impressions video, I thought it would be, uh, reset. Anyway, so, if this is the first time you're joining me, go check out the, uh, first impressions video, just because, you know, kind of shows largely the initial couple things that I got. Anyway, so we've got some pickups, we've got some loot, and but we don't have anything equipped currently, so we have that, but it's a good sword. Or we've got that, which is... It's kind of a mediocre hammer, so let's, you know, equip that. We don't have any helmets. We're pretty low on crystal. I think I'm just gonna be... Eh, I, I'll make some stuff. Most of these, largely not that useful, but... I'm gonna just make them. It's just so we have them for next run, because it's better to have uh, some equipment than no equipment, right? Plus, have yet to run into a truly useful... Uh, use for a buttload of... Apparently I'm not running out of crystal? I don't know. In some cases these are seem to be free for some reason. Oh, you get free crystal every time you get a new entry, of course. Well, that essentially lets us get uh, infinite cheap equipment. Sort of. Anyway, let's get the heck out of here. Where are we gonna go? So we could do the daily challenge. And that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to start with, because why not? We'll see how long we last. If we manage to last, like, you know, the full 20 minutes, then we've managed to last the full 20 minutes. However, I doubt we're going to live that long. Anyway, so we've got... Interesting. I'm not entirely sure what the fate stat does. And apparently, I've got some healing items, too. Awesome. Okay, so... Start our timer. And go on an adventure. I really like this game. I'm kind of disappointed I haven't actually uh, played as much as I have, but, uh, you know, painting takes a lot of time out of recording time. And realistically, I should have been painting a heck of a lot more than I have. But, uh, oh well. Anyway, let's get around. We've got some creatures. But, looks like these are just crystals for us. Beautiful. I want to grab as much loot as I can, just because I think the rewards are pretty good on these. And it's a bit hard to say, but... Mainly we get to kill things really quick. And apparently we get a bonus, Warhammer. Sweet. It was not actually uh, as much of a bonus as certain other things, but oh well. So we've got one alien wandering around. I don't know how hostile he is. Looks like he's completely non-violent. Well, except for that thing. It's pretty violent. Let's see if I can kill it in two hits. Thank you very much. Keep getting our stuff. I don't know when the green stuff is going to start coming after us, so I'm going to head for the secret area. Looks like we're pretty much going to have to go on to the next level very soon. We're running out of time. Doesn't even look like there's anything here, so yep, let's just run for the hills. I'm probably going to want to eat my chocolate, too, considering we have a lot of extra. So we're going to... I probably should have eaten the chocolate while we were there. Anyway, onwards. Get a pretty good reward for being here, too. So quickly, use chocolate. Gives us uh, some nice might, too. I don't know how violent these barbarian people are going to be. Oh, well, looks like he's violent. At least we, uh, bunced him really fast. Fire carrier. Local mutant. Now, the rest of them are going to be completely non-violent to us, so as long as we don't kill them, we don't have to worry about it. Get more of these things. Okay, these guys, again, violent. Uh, tribal shaman. I don't know. A little bit harder on the difficulty scale. Uh, remains of some dead animal. We've got a lot of stuff. One tile. And there's nothing underneath. Okay, so I'm going to use some more chocolate. Get the nice might boost. This guy's going to be violent again towards us. But, uh, luckily with the might boost, we can kind of kill them outright, which is awesome. Unfortunately, might boost does not last long. Luckily, we did have it around, so we could get the very fancy healing. Anyway, um... Crablet squeals in a repetitive, high-pitched tone. Sounds almost like it's whistling a song. Let's mimic it. Stat check. Got pretty high stat. Still failed. Whistle a bit. Fleas and tear. We still, uh, got an entry, though, which is perfect. Let's go figure out where that teleporter is. It's a vending machine. Answer is... Oh, I can get food. Not actually that bad. Or a mystery crate. Mystery crate! Probably should have saved that for training, but oh well. Anyway, we get a Majolner Mask. Let's equip it. Sweet. And we get Crystal for that. Probably not the best trade-off, but, uh, oh well. Anyway. Looks like the, uh, goop is getting a bit adventurous, so we need to get out of here as fast as possible. 
Looks like there's some heavy fighting over there, too. I think we've got some time. Oh, shoot. This guy got violent. And apparently we killed a tribal exile. We get a uh, robot clone, yes! Hmm. Okay, let's just go on to the next level. Because, uh, looks like these tribal folks are kind of blocking the way. And realistically, I don't want to die. So, uh, let's see. Let's wait, and then kill this thing. Yes? No. Well, killed it fast enough. And spray on shielding applies temporary chemical immunity. Cool. If I'm going to be fighting more of those guys, I will keep that around. And it depends if they're going to do the poison thing. Speaking of. Okay. Time to use it. And chocolate. We've got these things. What does rose bottle do? We are immune. Awesome. What's orange bottle do? We're also immune and or maybe free healing. Slowly recovery. It's not healing us that much, but better than nothing. Or maybe the immunity had to do more with uh, the fact that we were poisoned. At least for a little while. Okay. So, let's keep going down. Man, I like this game. It's weird. It's simple, but it's nice to play like a turn-based roguelike for once, because, you know, the only roguelikes I ever really play are the really high-paced ones, and sometimes it's nice to just have a chill roguelike. Oh boy, that looks scary. Uh, black bottle. Let's use it. Holy shit! Well, that worked. Uh, snap trap. It died. I'm very glad I had that and did not use it on myself. That would have been very, very embarrassing. Anyway, uh, we can't get that direction, so we've got one more crystal, and it looks like a vending machine. If it's got a healing item, I might purchase. It does. I got the cash. We're gonna go for it just because I want to get as far as I can. And shortbread. Let's pick up the vial, and the question is, do we go for the next level? Yeah, that's tempting. Let's see how we do against... Actually, let's wait, and then use... There. Suck it! Probably not actually worth it. Anyway, let's go down to the next level, because we can't uh, go any further here. I kind of blocked us off. But we're, we're definitely getting pretty far, which is... Uh, this is the farthest we've ever gotten. Luckily, the free equipment kind of makes that easy. Looks like we get some free crystal here, too. Now, I should probably start saving my metal, considering that's far more valuable than the green stuff, generally. But, uh, oh well. Looks like the uh, creatures don't get... I guess those guys aren't as dangerous as I thought. Anyway, uh, we're getting plenty of metal from this. It's great. Or it's scrap, I don't know. Uh, can I... let's use it. Nope, that was not advisable. Uh, what does the green vial do on oh, myself? Healing! Sweet! Full healing! Awesome! Surrender, human. I am king. Tiny worm. Uh, agree. Good choice, says the worm. Uh, apparently, I am a worm vassal. Tiny worm demanded your immediate surrender. I'm now a worm vassal. Awesome! I have no idea what that means. No idea what kind of uh, benefit or minus that's going to have. Either way, worm vassal. Perfect. And we're going to get uh, more crystal from this. I kind of wish crystal was the thing you spent on upgrades instead of metal, but, uh, oh well, not the end of the world. Let's see what we get down here. Is this more crystally stuff? Nope, just loot. Now, I think I found the teleporter already. Oh, crap. Back off a little bit. Unfortunately, I do not have the, uh, healing stuff. Pink liquid. What's this do? Stops blight growth. Oh, that's useful. So blight is apparently the black stuff that was messing our, our day up earlier. I'm going to use the box of chocolates, just because we're going to be taking... Actually, we're not going to be taking any more poison damage, or at least not from there. Okay, and we found the teleporter. I'm going to quickly check over here, though. Just because there might be loot. Might be. Maybe. Worst comes to worst, there's nothing. Because uh, we're not going to get that might pick up anyway. Anything over here. I guess worst comes to worst, we take damage. Which is not so good, honestly. Apparently I have another shovel, too. Did not realize that. Oh, well. Come on. Is there some kind of super fancy loot over here? The answer is no. Well, please, Blight, do not show up and block my progress. It'd be very much not appreciated. Luckily, I think we're more than far enough away, so we don't have to worry about that. Use the teleporter, go to the next level, see what we get. So, this is doing really well. 
reconstituted. So, we are on to, what, level 5, I think? That's really fantastic. And realistically, a hey, orange juice. It's going to be some uh, much-needed healing. Luckily, the Mjolnir armor is actually making it uh, very hard for us to be killed. Which is great. Let's get out of here before the blight starts showing up in force. And then messing my day up. Because uh, that's not an appreciated thing. That's for certain. Yeah, that's some good distance. Let's just... Let's see. I guess head towards the enemies. That's where everything is going to be. Probably should have uh, timed that a little bit better. We found a teleporter. The question is, do we go down? Do we keep exploring? I think I'm going to keep exploring for a little bit. Orange juice. 20 health. We're going to use it. We're kind of injured. Realistically, I don't see any more loot. I was kind of hoping one of these guys would have a drop. I guess that is a drop. Uh, but, uh, mm, I guess we got a pink vial for this, and we've got one of these things. Hey, what's that, Lassie? A creature makes a strange shuffling noise and dodges back one step. Uh, I'm going to follow. Stat check. Let's see how lucky we are. Failed! Fell into a trap. It was an ambush. Holy shit! Uh, survive, wander. Okay, we killed the nest guardian. Awesome. It hurt, though. That's, oh, blight freeze. Yeah, I'm going to use it, considering we're exploring. And realistically, I don't know when I'm going to be able to survive. I guess if we do get into another emergency situation like that, where it's like a big awful guardian type creature, I can always just use my singular shovel to uh, dig out underneath it. Problem solved. Okay, it looks like there's a little bit of treasure over here. Question is, oh, it's one of those nests. I'll get to it before it hatches. There we go. Unfortunately, the big bad showed up. Please survive. Nope, okay, we died. Farewell, clone 001. And we get a bunch of uh, chivos for it. We get a silver medal too, so 30 crystals. Awesome. Turn. That was 10 minutes. Nice for a daily run. Uh, probably could have gone a little bit better, but... And I have... A, apparently... That's strange. Apparently my training didn't last, but all of my upgrades lasted. That's very confusing. Oh well. Uh, I'm going to put it all into strength until I've run out of cash. Because strength, pretty useful. Fate would be nice. Not sure how to upgrade that. Anyway, uh, we've got a lot of... A lot of green crystal, and we can't do the daily challenge again, but we did get a silver reward. Let's see what the robot does. Let's switch him to a different head, though. Unfortunately, the body looks a little wacky. Anyway, steel skin at expedition start. Not sure, but we're going to be a robot. Oh, do the stat gains... Interesting. So the stat gains are specific to characters. Well, in that case, I'm going to hold off on using this guy for a little while. And we can't use the alien yet, even though the alien looks way cooler than we thought in the impressions video. Yeah, this guy's levels are the same, so I guess maybe just the prices got bugged out. Not gonna complain about that. And let's get ourselves some gold equipment while we've got it. What do we got? Crystal hammer. Pretty awesome. What do we also have? Uh, kaiju killer. Awesome. And... Anything else? It's a... Uh, Occam's Razor, of course. And we get another chest. What does it give us? The Shatterer! Looks like at this point it's just giving us, like, fancy equipment instead of, you know, upgrades around here. Kind of makes sense, but, uh... Would like to get some... I don't know. Be nice to get some more upgrades. I, I guess after a certain point it's just boosting up your stats and that's it. Anyway. Uh... Progenitor implants. I'm gonna go back to this thing. And I'm actually going to put away the good stuff, because we don't we don't really want it for a grinding run, because this is probably going to be a grinding run first and foremost. Uh, yeah, Sleek Helmet would be fine, and Katana would be fine. And I think that's good enough, because we don't need juice. What's this guy sell? Oh, actually pretty cheap. And we'll bring the shortbread with us. Note to self, next time we have scrap, go down there. Can I do the daily challenge again? No! Oh well. Uh, and honestly, I don't know, want to do any of the other scenarios because those are uh, fairly painful. Anyway, let's go down. Incoming message. Our goal is to catalog every bit of flora and fauna on this planet. Good luck. So about the most generic advice we could possibly get. So, unfortunately... What? Must have accidentally hit the uh, take turn button again. Oh well. It'll be okay. Let's wait for him to realize we're here and then kill him with extreme uh, prejudice. The question is... Ah, there it is. That's where the secret 
areas. I'm not even sure if it's like actually a secret area or if it's just kind of like a extra loot chamber. Never really has anything particularly u useful. I'm trying to remember what all of the uh, liquids specifically do or if it's randomly generated. Could be randomly generated actually. Don't know. I want to say that like the reddish stuff heals you but I could be wrong. And it's one of those where I'm leery about... Oh, nuts. Well, I'm gonna have to fight the purple crap. Glad I brought the shortbread with me. Because this would be a much shorter run. Anyway. Got a beeline for the teleport. I found it. Just gotta kill my way through this guy, this guy, and... See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya. Onwards to distance two. So it does seem like the difficulty scaling isn't that high. So the goal really is, find the teleporter, then just get the heck out of there. Because, no other reason to do it. Okay, so, uh, in a little bit, it'll be time to use our crumpet, or not crumpet, no, do not want to jump. At some point I will jump and see what that does, but uh, not when I'm wearing equipment. I'll probably jump the next time I am accidentally end up totally naked. Okay, well, time to murder this thing and then fight the guardian. Not keen on fighting a guardian, but uh, kind of necessary. They hurt. Holy balls. Let's use this quick. We may die here. Yep, we died. Okay, well, uh, that was not nearly as effective. I get overconfident because of the daily challenge, because I'm like, hey, I've got equipment. No, you don't, Wander. No, you don't. Uh, let's quick do some training. I don't know what training we can have. I guess a wits works. And close this. Go down to the planet completely naked. Yes, I understand the dangers. Go! And incoming message, good luck, yeah, yeah, yeah. Onwards. See what happens when we jump. Fearless. Distance one complete. Onwards. And there's the damage that we took. Cool. Things that you learn by playing this game weird. Okay, let me get some green crystal for it. So it does seem like the easiest way to grind for equipment is sheerly to do the daily challenge once per day. And then, you know, come back for other things. So we are in a situation where we're, like, extremely in trouble, and now poisoned, going on to uh, distance two. We're still gonna die here, but if I can somehow make it past, grab these things. Bone Desert. I'm gonna worry about that thing in a little bit. Oh, well, there we go. I guess uh, you will just automatically attack everything in your way instead of uh, going around it. Good to know. Anyway, I think we got some crystal for it, so that was arguably worth it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's try that again. Com uh, yeah, let's let's do one more run with actual equipment. Let's see. Occam's razor is too good. Progenitor implants. No. Uh, cyber goggles. And that crystal hammer is way too good. More hammer is good. Uh, cyanide is good. There we go. And let's see what this thing has for us before we go down. Orange juice or bandages. Hmm. This thing I. Kind of wish I'd actually used this thing properly during the impressions video, but, uh, whoops. Anyway, go! Now, we could be stupid and just hop off immediately, but that's stupid. So, let's get to this thing. And just immediately fight the poison people. Not happy about this situation. At least we're already poisoned. And there we're already dead. Wow. That was cruel. And unsurprising, that is how this game works. Well, let's grab more stuff out of the equipment. I wish he had, like, bare minimum equipment or, like, semi-permanent equipment. But not the case. Take the mallet. There we go. And I'm not going to waste uh, money on orange juice this time, I think. Actually, no, I am. Because I think the gas mask makes me immune to poison. Which is what killed me last time. Juice box. Onwards. Best of luck, don't worry about the nap, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what the weird no thing is. Maybe it has something to do with the hammer? What's it do? On strike, immobilize. Ah, useful. Okay, so essentially we can immobilize enemies by hitting them. Largely, I mean, you don't get experience in this one. I actually kind of wish there was a experience system so you gain some amount of experience while you're going down, since you're a clone, that just gets reset every time you, you know die, but, uh, oh well. I guess I just like leveling. It's, it's... I did it again, where I just accidentally passed my turn, just because the hitbox on the passing turn thing is a little large. 
especially if you just passed a turn. Anyway, we've got three juice boxes. It's actually really useful. I don't think I have the key card to go through there, so I'm gonna kill this thing, I think. Oh, we should have waited. Oh well. And maybe it's right up here? Nope. More metal. Well, can't complain about more metal. It's just not a whole lot. Okay. I'm wasting time here. Let's go on to the next level, because the farther level we can go, the more uh, green crystal we get. And that's a good thing. Also, time. Because there's no real benefit in clearing the level out, unlike some other things. Also, it would be kind of interesting to see if there are boss monsters at some point in this game. Because that would be uh, actually really cool. Just kind of depends. Looks like we got a vending machine. One of these guys, but we're immune to the poison, so... Suck it. Okay. No! We attacked the vending machine again. I guess I'm just gonna run. As far... Oh, shit. Let's see. That's a full heal. That's useful. Unfortunately, now we have to, uh, clobber the vending machine. That was arguably worth it. Ish. Oh, it's a mimic, not a vending machine. Interesting. Well, that, uh, red juice that I picked up, super useful. Unfortunately, we are now, uh, cornered. Not a big deal. Just gotta figure out where the teleporter is. You have the feeling I'm just, like, slowly walking away from it. Oh, nope, never mind. There it is. That's convenient, and we're getting more than enough crystal for all of this. Chemical damage to your attacks. Sweet. I uh, don't know to uh, what extent it's useful. So I'm going to go on to the next level, which I think is distance 3 onwards. Uh, incoming message. Galactic Union really appreciates our explorations, by the way. They sent us a card. Cute. And let's quickly drink all of our juice, because it's not very useful. Then as soon as I get, like, over here-ish, I'm going to use this. Now, I get the feeling these guys are non-violent, but I have to kill this one because he's in the way. Actually, gave us something interesting. Target is teleported three tiles away. Cool! That's really useful. Just, uh, apparently his friends also don't get pissed off for me, uh, killing him. That's useful. Unfortunately, they are in the way across the board. Well, let's just take the uh, directions that are not blocked off. And I'm probably not going to be able to just kill all of them. What's this guy do? Flirt or reject? Let's flirt. Chitters and runs off. And apparently, local muti mutant made suggestive gestures at you. But, uh, you know, I think it gave us extra fate, I think. Which is kind of cool. Kind of useful. Uh, maybe it took damage? Not entirely sure. What's this do? Pink bottle. Apparently we just fell off. Please don't kill me. It was very close to. Target myself. Over here? Apparently I just died. Well then, anyway, apparently we still get some uh, crystal reward for that. Probably wasn't worth it, but it was definitely interesting. So, I think that's a great stopping point. So, I will uh, see you guys on the next Shattered Planet run. We'll start with the daily run, probably as usual and then go on to just random runs until we hit the 20 minute mark, unless the daily run manages to accrue that on its own. Anyway, so I'll see you guys then, and as always, thanks for watching. Health!